I had such a fun trip last week to visit with Jeannie Robertson on her show from the back porch. And Jeannie and I have a lot in common, being that we both our speakers and we've been in the pageant world together. Of course, when Jeannie was in the pageant, it was like royalty. But thank goodness I got a little snippet of that world when I competed as Miss South Carolina, Jeannie's Miss North Carolina. What a great show, by the way. So it's at noon on Saturdays and I'm going to put the information in the bar below me so you all can access it. But it really is fun. We, we really had a good time. I, um, Jeannie's got such funny stories. But as we talked, we reminisced about the pageant world. So I decided to go back and look up in one of my first book, and it's called Bare Feet to High Heels, a story that really happened to me when I was emceeing a pageant in a little town called Bishopville, and it was the Queen of Cotton. And I had been emceeing pageants as Miss South Carolina, and it seemed like the exact same group of judges were following me. So every time I would tell this funny little story and it's about a preacher who could quote scripture and everybody said, wow, he's amazing. I mean, someone broke their arm at the church. He just had a scripture. Uh, Some woman had a baby. He had a scripture. So they had revival during one very hot August day. And as he was pounded on the podium preaching, he had his mouth wide open and a bug flew in. Well, everybody started snickering and nudging. He's not going to think of a scripture for this. And bless his heart, he swallowed real hard. And he looked at everybody with great conviction. And he said, a stranger came and I took him in. (laughs) Well, I always told that story because then I would say, I feel so taken in, so welcomed here in this little town, blah, blah. So... Here we were again at this pageant, the Queen of Cotton, and the judges came up to me and said, would you please quit telling that old lame story? We've heard it over and over, and people just sick of it, or do something, add something to it. I don't know. Well, I just said to myself, you know what? It's a good story, whatever. So I remember before I hit the stage, I looked on the footlights, and there were these massive moths I mean, the size of a little Cessna airplane. And I'm just going, my gosh, those moths are big. Well, you know, I'm sure it's because it was a cotton pageant. So they were everywhere. So when they introduced me, of course, I launched into the story and I got to the part where the preacher's mouth was wide open. And no kidding, at that exact time, a moth flew into my mouth. And I was struggling, coughing, pointing to my throat, couldn't talk. I'm looking at these judges and they're in hysterics. They're thinking I'm just making the whole thing up, acting it out. And I'm telling you, I was just about to die up there. Well, got my composure finally, (laughs) got back to the queenly state. So my judges came up to me in hysterics. They said, that was hilarious. We can't wait till next weekend. Aren't you the MC for the Frog Jump Festival? <laughs> well, I thought it'd be fun to share a little bit of that. And uh, I love stories. I love Southern stories. And in, back in my mind are those old pageant stories. I really wish I had that one live to share with you. But since we're all at home now, I thought I would just uh, share a little bit of my pageant world. And uh, thanks to Jeannie for remembering some of those funny stories. Goodness, we could have talked for hours. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Share it with somebody who needs a laugh. We need the laugh. We need to laugh, though. And keep smiling and finding the humor in life. Thanks. <laughs>